Welcome to Being at Home with George during the time of COVID. And I'm excited to be here. And as usual, creating this possibility of both being able to embrace whatever comes up, saying yes to life, and at the same time, generating hope. And in that context, I'd like to talk about this idea of staying in our lane or staying on purpose, of this idea of having an aim or having an intention and really understanding that it's important to have an aim and intention because what is staying in our lane? Staying in our lane means staying on purpose, staying on intention, having an outcome that we want to achieve. Stephen Covey talks about the idea of begin with the end in mind. So this idea of having a target, having an aim, and then staying on task. And, and how do we do that? So why is it important? Because staying on task gets us to where we want to go. And if I think about what Joseph Campbell said, and I'm fond of saying, is this idea of follow your bliss. So what is your bliss? Well, your heart will tell you that, and you have to stay on task. Instead of doing something that's not in that frame, not in that lane, then you don't do it. And so the idea is having a well-defined outcome, and then the immediacy of experience from moment to moment, being able to be in the moment and to ascertain, to actually recognize if we're on track or we're on purpose or not. It's really simple. So our perception, our ability to see clearly is really guided. So if that's going to happen, then we really need to get out of survival mode where we're in fight, flight, or freeze and being in growth mode. So that's another part of staying in our lane is realizing that we want to be creative. We want to come from this place of love, not a place of reactivity, not a place where we're on our heels, we're on our toes, we're moving forward, we're taking initiative, and we're saying, okay, this is my outcome. And then from moment to moment, being able to perceive, being able to get feedback and immediacy of experience. And then the third thing is to to actually make adjustments or adapt, being flexible, being able to move. So when we get off our uh, aim, we can get back on. And it's never one of these things where we just stay straight on. It's normally more like a zigzag. And so that negative feedback, and this is where the hope is really helpful, is having the negative feedback to say, oh, you're too far to the left, you gotta move back uh, to the right till you get back on aim and then you go the other way, you, you come back. So it's this idea of knowing where we're going. And then as we're moving along, understanding what are the signposts to say, yeah, you're closer to or you're further away. And then the idea of being flexible, having the adaptability, having the willingness to change. And of course, this ties into the notion that men normally don't like to ask for directions when they're on the road and they get lost. And And I think it can be not just men, but some females could be that way. And it's really more about staying on task, reading the map, and the map will tell us. And in this case, the map is internal. It's our feeling, because we can feel when we're off the beam. We can feel when we're on the beam. And so we need to understand that. And we need to understand that no matter what we're doing, it's in the moment. We have to be clear about what's our intention, what's the purpose, where are we going, and then getting the feedback in the immediacy of experience, moment to moment, whether we're on and we're not, and then making the adjustment, being able to to do the zigzag to get back on task. And it's interesting because this past weekend, uh, the movie came out, I think it broke some records, called The Black Widow. And where I live, uh, we have this particular set of theaters. Uh, They have certain seating arrangements, so you can actually go online and you can arrange your seat. And so when I went online, this when it came out on Thursday night, Friday, I kept looking at it and I went on and my intention was to be able to go see the movie and at the same time, see it in safety. So I didn't want to sit with a lot of people. I wanted to be able to sit. There's some of the theaters that have like two seats on the side and rows of, of them. And I wanted to sit away from people. And when I went on and I kept trying to find a time to go during the weekend, and each time I, I went, I saw that the only seat available was a seat in, in the middle of a lot of folks. And so for me to stay on task was to say, okay, I have to postpone when I can go see it. And I actually went to see the movie yesterday, it was Wednesday. And when I went online, I went and I saw that, oh, there's this place where I can get a seat that's comfortable for me. And, you know, I know 
they say you can sit with folk. The state of my lane is me being comfortable and saying, no, I want to sit away from folks. I want to be able to sit in a seat that I feel comfortable in. And so that feedback, me being and not listening to myself and not listening to my need to want to be by myself, I don't have to explain it. It's just like I want to sit where I'm not in a crowd of people, especially if it's not people that I, that I want to be with. So that analogy, that that experience happens to us a multiplicity of times during the day. And some of them are like little, little decisions, like maybe going to the store to buy something and we go to a particular store and the item we want is not available. And so do we settle for substitute or we just say, no, we'll come back or let's go to another store. And so we make these decisions all the time, but staying in our lane, staying in our flow, you know, being true to who we say we are and what we say we want to do is really important. And why is it important? Because if we don't know who we are, we can end up being anybody. And if we don't know where we're going, we could end up going anywhere. So this is more about deciding who I want to be based on my values and how I want to feel and what I want to do and how I want to get my needs met just by understanding, having the outcome, uh, having a clarity of what I'm getting, immediate feedback, and then making the adjustment, the adaptation to get back on track, to move in my lane, to stay in my lane, and to do what I feel I need to do. So it's an internal locus of control. It's about me. It's not about should. So if I have it, I should do this, or you know, people expect me to do that, that's not staying in my lane. That's, that's getting out of my lane and trying to be somebody else and not being myself.